Hi folks, I'm Mike from Minnesota. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you from the Cutquit Sioux Resort Lodge up here in God's Country on uh, Little Cutfoot Sioux Lake. And uh, today is going to be a special, special treat. Um, I got a area guide, actually uh, the son of uh, Jake and Amy Parrington, who owns Cutfoot Sioux Resort, Resort uh, Lee Parrington, is going to take me out crappie fishing today. So it's a, it's really going to be a treat for me. Um, so um, we're starting out here and we're going to head out to the lake in, in a little bit. But first of all, I'd like to introduce Lee Parrington and have him talk about his guide service. Lee, why don't you come on over? So Lee, uh, why don't you tell me, how long have you been guiding? Um, well, this summer will be my fifth year, this season of guiding. Um, I started out as 10, 11 years old. Um, I started out actually on my parents' pontoon, the resort pontoon. And some people off the road came in, asked me if I uh, would take them fishing, and I started off there. Good. And uh, you've kind of grown your business quite a bit since then. I mean, you actually started a business. Yep. So now um, I do have pretty tight schedule in the summer. Um, I do a lot of business and I have business cards and brochures. I get new ones every year that go out and um, staying pretty busy, pretty active all summer long. Um, fishing's been good lately in the past couple of years. So, And the, uh, the name of your business is? Slotfish Guide Service. That was actually given to me by um, some friends of ours that stay at the resort picking on me because of my slot fish. <laughs> okay, slot fish, <laughs> slot fish what? Guide service. Guide service. Yep. And uh, do you have a uh, social media presence on that yet? I do not. Okay, and that's to yep. come? Yep, that is to come. Well, this is gonna be one of them, I think. Yep. Um, so uh, what uh, what type of uh, rig do you have to take people out? Um. Well, currently I'm fishing in a 17 and a half foot Alumacraft. Um, it's a tournament pro series. Uh, well, it's, it's like a new competitor pretty much and um, nothing fancy, just running the 60 horse Yamaha. Um, it handles pretty well. People enjoy the boat. I enjoy the boat. Um, it's pretty heavy for a small boat. Um, it handles pretty well. And what lakes do you, uh, do you like to go out on? Well, um, I like to fish a lot of walleyes on um, Big Winnie mainly um in the spring and in the fall i'll fish big cut foot here and there um there's a lot of good local lakes around here i know if you go a half hour north of here up the island i mean you can get anything over there smallmouth muskies i mean you can pretty much go on any lake around here and catch catch what you need and uh today we're we're gonna go crappie fishing yep. is that right yep that should be a fun mm -hmm. anything uh, in particular that uh we need to know about crappie fishing here? Well, um, today we're going to be doing some deep water fishing, probably 37 to 40 feet. Wow. And um, these fish are suspended about a foot to two feet off the bottom. And uh, I like to fish above them and they come up and some of them race up to it and hit pretty hard and some of them just move on. We're going to be fishing some pretty tight schools today, um, probably about 15 foot radius and a couple hundred fish in there. So Okay. Well. Um, we're going to take this uh, to the lake, and uh, so we'll be back in a little bit. Well, folks, we made it to the lake, and uh, Lee is uh, checking out some spots where we're going to set up the, uh, the shelter. Uh, he came out on this beautiful machine, and... Uh, I came out in uh, in the truck. So I, what's the process? Do you just gonna uh, put the Vexlar down, see if you're seeing anything in here? Yep, yep, I'm just gonna put the Vexlar down, the, see if there's any fish around in the area. I might drop a line just to see if anything comes in. If okay. not, we'll move along and okay. just keep moving. We're All in the main basin water here, about 40 feet, and they're just schooled up and moving around. And okay. We just gotta search for them. All right. Oh, it's a little... What is it? Rock bass. <laughs> Seriously. It's a little guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll let him go. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
Oh my goodness. Well, that should be a first hint. We got to move. Yeah. <laughs> We've been moving around, and uh, actually Lee's been doing all the work. Um, this is the third hole I think he, he drilled, and uh, we're just going to keep moving until we find him. Fish on. Just hooked up. Feels pretty heavy, honestly. Taking her nice and easy. Nice Ooh, crappie. Nice crappie. Beautiful. Spin head minnow perfectly in the roof of the mouth. Man. Well, hit that baby. Gorgeous fish. I think my minnow drew him in. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a good good first fish. Way yeah. to start the day. That's up, mine. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Came up from the bottom. Oh, it is a crappie. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, nice crappie. Yeah, another one. Beautiful. That's identical to the last one I yeah, caught. Beautiful crappie. He came up and just smoked it from the bottom. Keep it low. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful right. fish. Super. I guess that's probably what? 10, 11 inch? Beautiful. Beautiful yeah. fish. Good eater. Yeah. We're going to eat tonight. <laughs> well, folks, we're going to have to wrap it up today. Um, we had a great time fishing. Uh, we only caught two beautiful crappies. I missed a couple. And uh, we were marking a lot of fish, but uh, they were just finicky. They weren't biting. So, I mean, that's the way it goes. And um, Lee has to get to a job working at a resort up here, helping out with the ice fishing uh, business there. And um, so, I guess until next time, thank you, Lee, for taking me out. Again, Lee's guide service is slot fish guide service correct yep and uh thank you for taking me out it was a beautiful day it was nice to see such beautiful fish coming out yeah okay. no problem i uh, wish the bite was a little better today but fish ended up being finicky probably due to pressure or weather change um but all in all it was a fun day and uh thanks for coming out yeah till next time Make every day a great day. God bless.